welcome to another tutorial video. In this short tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to use Obsidian Notes. All right, so your first step would be actually downloading the Obsidian Notes and you can get it on your Play Store by using the search to search for Obsidian. So once you've searched and installed it, click on open. And now it says Obsidian will request permission to access your device storage. So granted permission. So we're going to be granting it permission. All right. Welcome to Obsidian version 1.7.5. All right. Now, um, if you've previously used Obsidian, you could set up the Obsidian link or sync and simply sync your info from another Obsidian account or app. If you haven't, we're going to be creating a new vault. So click on create new vault and enter the vault name, Android. And then it's asking for vault location. So click on choose and you're going to be giving it a location. So we're going to be working with my devices document storage. So we're going to be using this folder. So click on allow and then proceed to click on create. All right. Welcome to the new Obsidian vault. Uh, it says here yeah, no file is open because we have not created any new notes. On this menu, we can find the create new note option as well as the icon at the bottom of the screen. And then the icon at the top left, if you click on this icon, you could easily create a new uh, file and you could also create new folders as well. So let's go ahead and create a new file. So click on this option. At the very top, we have the title of the vault. This is the title of your uh, notes. So let's give it a name. All right. So once you've set up a note on Android, you'd notice that Obsidian has a lot of great features. Uh, the first I'm going to be talking about is it has a toolbar, which is just above your keyboard. So you could make use of this toolbar or these brackets here. You could use this to could link other notes here. So let's just add life as an Android user and back out. Now, this is a link to another text I just have here. You could take a look at it. Now, uh, that's one of the coolest features you have on the Obsidian Notes. Now, you could also add headers. Remember, this is the title of your page. You could also add a header here. So let's go ahead and add a header. All right. So this is how it works. All you need to do is just uh, put it together and it's called uh, greatness. That's the that's the header of this page. We also have the option to attach files. It's just it's also on the toolbar. All you need to do is click on this uh, attach file uh, icon and you get to attach files such as images to your Obsidian Notes app. So you could just attach a file. Uh, let's go with Call of Duty. Uh, select this file and it's automatically added to your Obsidian Notes. All right. Now, another cool thing about Obsidian is by holding your screen and dragging down, you could access the command palette. So by holding your screen and dragging down, we've successfully accessed the command palette, which we can use to simply save this current file. We could use it to toggle the pen, rename the file, copy the file path, copy its obsidian URL, undo the tabs, change themes, add aliases. All right. Now, another use of Obsidian is make use of its graph. So the icon, which is the hamburger icon at the bottom right, if you click on this icon, you're met with the open quick switcher, uh, create a new canvas, open today's daily note, insert a template, open the command palette and the open graph view. So if you click on this, uh, it gets to show you uh, a connection you can make between your notes. We have note on Android. It links up to life as an Android user. We have untitled. Uh, you could group them. You could create a new group. You could improve or reduce the text fade uh, threshold, the size of the nodes, the link thickness can also be improved on. And you could animate once you're done. So yeah, this is how you could make use of your Obsidian graph view. All right, guys, another feature of Obsidian is its use of templates. How can you access a template? Uh, the icon at the top left from graph view and then underneath it, click on where we have folders. So click on the folder and give it a name. This is the folder and then click on this other icon and give it a note. So let's give it a note. That's its title. 
Now head back here, the icon at the top right, which is the gear icon, settings, click on this. Scroll to the bottom and where we have templates, click on templates. And then call this, or simply put in Android 15. All right, so once you've done this, simply drag Android 15 into the folder known as Android 15. Once you've moved it in, Obsidian has known or rec recognized this as its template, Android 15. So now all you need to do here is click on the hamburger icon, click on insert template, and select Android 15. And boom, Android 15 inside Android 15. That's how it's done. Now, another cool feature of Obsidian is with Obsidian, you could simply create canvases. What are canvases? Uh, click on the hamburger icon, click on create new canvas. Now, it says here, drag to pan, pinch to zoom, touch and hold to select. Let's add a card. So tap and hold and click on add card. And let's call it. All right. Now, if you press and hold again, add another card. And let's go ahead and add one last card and call it. Now, the cool stuff about the canvas is with the canvas feature, you could link all of these like notes. So if you click here, if you click on this purple uh, dot, you could link this to uh, Android 15. If you click on Android 15, press on the purple dot, you could link this to Android 14. You could also give it a different color. Uh, that's how you can make use of the canvas. Cool thing to look at while on the Obsidian canvas is you could press and hold and click on add notes. So you could simply add a note from your vault. So click on add note. Let's go with the template, select the template. And now if you click on Android 14, uh, highlight this and connect it to the template, uh, you've added it to your notes. So you can increase the size of your note. You can reduce the size of your note, that kind of stuff. All right. So this is how you can make use of the canvas. Uh, if we head back, let's uh, go ahead and uh, create a new tab here. You could also create a new tab by clicking on the numbers and clicking on plus. Let's go ahead and create a new note. On a new note, you could make use of what we call tags. By using the hash option, you could create a tag. So let's call it. All right. Now that is a tag. All right. So in order to make use of the tag option, uh, use the hamburger icon, click on open graph view again. And uh, if you head back to or if you click on groups, click on new group, and you could use this to search. So we're going to be searching by tag, and let's call it A14. And boom, A14 would have been added to your tag. As you can see, this is the tag for A14. It's live, it's red. Uh, those are the features of the Obsidian notes. Now, if you were to head to the bottom of the screen again, and then scroll and select open today's daily notes, uh, this is basically like a journal or a diary where you could just tell yourself or keep useful information on your journal. So it basically works per day and you could just get stuff done on your journal. So that's how it basically works. All right. So comment down below if you have a question concerning how we can go about any of this and you'll be given an answer. Thank you.